Hey, welcome to another episode of It Resolves. My name is Kevin. My name is Will, Fish Will, and you've just tuned in. Thanks for that, by the way. Wherever you're doing it, how you're doing it, on uh, the podcast app, SoundCloud, YouTube. And as always, you can find us on Facebook, Patreon, Twitter, Instagram, where we're having a giveaway right now. And don't forget, twitch.tv. I'm so proud of you. You got it all right. One hundred percent. I have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get no, no, lost. no, it works out though. Uh, yeah, good. that was good. Yeah, I'm happy. Yeah, we're not on Twitch, by the way. It's it's Parks and Alex. Yeah, Parks and Alex. Twitch. They're doing a great job over well, there. Well, he's on Twitch sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. And very rarely I'm on Twitch. Yeah, we kind of jump in occasionally on Skype and just yeah. hang. Um, yeah. yeah, guys, go check us out. We really appreciate it. As I mentioned, spot. we have a giveaway on Instagram. We'll talk a little bit more about it later. There's Ooh. only three days left in that. Man, coming as down of today. So Come to a close. Um, this is our. Monday, Deck Tech Day, uh, yeah. as per our new schedule, this day doesn't change at all. So, uh, this week is Modern Week. Uh, as always, we have our community deck and then our deck that yeah. uh, we picked. That's but true. But before that. Well, let's not skip anything. Let's not skip anything. And you don't mess the tradition. Right. I learned that from a show that's hilarious <laughs> called Letterkenny. But that's not the line they say. I can't say the line on our podcast. <laughs> is it not... Family friendly. It is not. Okay. Well, I love then, it. Yeah, don't do I that. love it though. All right. Letter Kenny, guys. If you're Canadian, you'll think it's great. Check it out. All right. The random card of the day in three, two, one. Shuriken! Yes. <laughs> great. <laughs> from Kamigawa, from Betrayers specifically of Kamigawa. So for one colorless, it's an artifact equipment. Equipped creature has tap, unattached shuriken. Shuriken deals two damage to target creature. That creature's controller gains control of Shuriken unless it was attached from a ninja. Unattached from a ninja. Equipped to. Um, that's interesting. It plays. So it is interesting. It plays to the synergies of ninjas, which was a big thing in this in this set, right. which is cool. Um, so I think if you have ninjas, this is actually just kind of good. I yeah. mean, it's it's an expensive shock, I guess. Yes, right. It is. Um, but like it's decent. Uh, well, in a limited environment. Yes. Yeah, I'd say there. It's um, pretty good and limited. Constructed, no way. <coughs> Please stop. That's really distracting. Good lord. Achoo! <laughs> um, I mean, in constructed, this is garbage. But limited, yeah. I mean, limited at the time, it's okay. Yeah, definitely. Um, definitely not now. The art is cool. Art and is I cool. like the fact that it's a shuriken. Just because well, it's I mean, a shuriken, it's they're cool. Flavor is flavorful. Yeah. Flavor is sweet. All right, moving on. <laughs> yeah, there's not much to say about it. There's really not. Um, I mean, it's an uncommon, which is... Uh, it doesn't not, feel like an uncommon It doesn't feel like an uncommon to me. Um, the fact, though, that it does deal two damage to target creature is pretty relevant, I would say, in a limited environment at that time. Mm-hmm. Other than that, no. Completely. I kind of wish it was creature or player, then it could be on... Yeah, if it was or player, it'd be yeah. kind of good. Change right? nothing else but that, and I yeah. think, like... I, I still good. don't think it'd be constructed, but still... No, but it still is, yeah. I think limited it'd be great at that point yeah um even it was even if it was just play honestly honestly no i actually like it for creatures especially well, limited because what i'm it's thinking so creature heavy yeah what i'm thinking is you just get reach out of it uh right? yeah i guess i so. mean because you have much better removal than two damage in limited. yeah even though i guess i can kind of come up at the end of combat yeah i mean yeah. i'm not opposed to it but it's just it's yeah. limited viable and only limited viable oh yeah, yeah, yeah. um all right all right Thanks. Well, that was a quick one. For teaching us but, the way of the shuriken. Yeah, that's cool art. Um, <laughs> all right. So it is deck tech day. It's modern day. Cool. We got community deck. Before we go to the community deck, yeah. do you want to take care of the, the it resolves deck? I would love to. All right. Go uh, for it. I may have given it away in the intro. We're talking about fish. Yes. Fish, which I guess you'll get from the <laughs> annotation, the title, and whatever. Mm-hmm. But fish, merfolk, tribal. It's time. Although this one is mostly tribal with a little bit of salt mills peppered in there. Okay. Uh, we'll get into that. It's, this is a cool list I found. Um, all right. Start with the land base. Yep. Because the deeper you go into magic, the more important it becomes. Uh, <laughs> two Cavern of Souls. Obviously. Duh. It, yeah. In every tribal deck. Pick yeah. a creature type. If you, it can't be countered. Yeah. I mean. Sweet. Aether yeah. Bile on a land. Cool. It's awesome. Uh, Twelve Islands, because this is mono blue. You really don't need... I'm going to color. Uh, one Mimainemo School at Water's Edge. Oh, okay. It's yeah. a legendary land. Yeah. Um, for, I think, one blue and tapping. 
Uh, this this card you can tap or untap target legendary creature. Okay, is its effect. Um, it's okay. Uh, I actually think that's pretty good. It's good. I think it's but... better if, uh, like on their board than yours, mm. probably, because the legendary creatures you've got here, it doesn't honestly matter if they're tapped or not. Like you can, it's like pseudo vigilance. It, it's thing. also like surprise blocking not surprise because it's on the board but like you right. can you leave up a blocker without having to actually leave up a blocker i mean yeah so it like allows for some more attacks yeah. which is good um yeah. but yeah i just it's okay sure was yeah, yeah. Was but yeah i think it's definitely better if say for instance uh what's that the dude the pit fighter the six one that you tap and deals three damage to a thing um you know i'm talking about I know he's a legendary about, yeah. that's just a specific thing but yeah you can tap him before he gets it. Well, I guess they could tap in response. Right? I don't know. You're Never doing mind. great. I'm I'm realizing responses and things. Yes. Yeah. And that really wouldn't work for him. Anyway, look, it's okay. <laughs> Four Muta Vaults also. Of course. You know, you want a man land. You want extra damage. So Muta It's also sweet. every creature type, so it gets all the boosts from the lords. Of course. Which is important. True. Um Orboro Palace in the Clouds. Oh. Is another little yeah thing. Makes sense. Uh, does it? Maybe explain this one to me because I don't know why it's here. You, Read the card to me. You bounce it back to your hand. I'll show you. Um, I had it pulled up a moment ago. So you, I think, pay one colorless mana. You return it to your hand. Okay. Which would make a lot of sense if there are landfall effects. There but are not. Nope. Nope. There are not. So says tap add blue to your mana pool or pay one return or oboro mm -hmm. palace in the clouds to its owner's hand okay then maybe i don't understand yeah, entirely. i, don't get it I also have never played merfolk though so yeah. i'm sure there's an interaction somewhere where that matters maybe we'll find it as we go along maybe. but this that eluded me yeah I'll, I'll be honest okay i'm not a genius guys i'm just a guy who likes fish <laughs> all right uh so i'm titling this fish and one ghost in parentheses because uh, there's a ghost ghosty in here uh but let's go through the creature base since this is tribal mm -hmm. it makes up the meat uh the fish meat four curse catchers obviously, obviously. you sack it <laughs> and you can counter target spell unless yeah. they pay one spell pierce it's on great. a guy yeah. he's a two one whatever uh four harbinger of the tides it's these are four sweet. spike on a... what did i say you said spell pierce get it right i meant four spike <laughs> sorry about that Okay. What spell pierce? Uh, instant or sorcery, one mana, unless they pay three. Ah, that's right. Mm -hmm. It is four spell. All right, guys. Wow, you're doing great. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Just uh, four Harbinger of the Tides. So this guy is yeah, really cool. Yeah, super cool. Uh, so he is a 2-2 two, two for two, or he is a 4-2 for two. If you want to give him flash, you can pay two extra mana to give him flash. I like that. Wait, I like it too. Yeah. I like it a lot. When he comes in, he says, uh, you can bounce return to their owner's hand target tapped creature and opponent controls mm -hmm. which is really cool and synergizes with another card we'll talk about in a second mm -hmm. um this is kind of an out it's pseudo removal it's a tempo swing it's just really nice to have yeah. on a guy um it makes him pretty valuable and cheap too mm -hmm. you get a, a permanent and unsummon for yeah I, I like it i like it a lot um, so let's go to uh, the lords in the deck because there are technically 12. Yeah. So four lords of Atlantis. Legendary 2-2 two, two for two that says other merfolks get plus one, plus one. Four masters of the Pearl Trident. Same thing, except he yeah. has Island Walk. Or does he give... He gives he other gives merfolk. Other merfolk that's it. Walk. He gives other merfolk Island Walk. He doesn't himself have it. Um, Which is very relevant in this deck. Yes. He gives other merfolks Island Walk and plus one, plus one. Yeah also super good yes um so then <laughs> we'll talk about um the marrow regery regery i don't know how i'm saying that right okay that's the other lord and the one that synergizes with harbinger so uh regery says uh when you play a fish spell merfolk spell mm -hmm. when you play a merfolk spell you may tap or untap target permanent oh that's so, super cool yes what happens is wow you play your uh harbinger mm -hmm. uh regery triggers if he resolves of course uh, then you can tap or untap a thing. If you choose to tap one of your opponent's creatures that you needed to bounce, that you wanted to bounce, but they didn't tap for whatever reason, well, now you can bounce them with Harbinger. You get that 
interaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty sweet. That's awesome. Yeah. I like that a lot. Wow. It's very nice. Um, so then he comes in as a 3-3 and bounces a guy. Yeah. And he could do it at the end of their turn. So now he's a, yeah. a live 3-3. It's very solid. Wow. Um, That's we, super good interaction. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. We talked about Merfolk in the... Um, in the tribal in the tribal decks as getting the option to be really aggressive or really controly mm -hmm. or a mix of both and this is kind of the latter there it's a mix of both really. yeah, yeah you get a lot of control um kind of tempo things like that um and another one we'll talk about the one ghost <laughs> the ghost really makes it for me uh kira great glass spinner also from so kamigawa good. i think yeah uh it's a two two flyer for three <clears throat> uh one colorless two blue i believe um, that gives all of your creatures um, the counter target spell thing. If they're targeted by a, a spell or ability, counter yes. it. Yeah, the first one. The first one each. Right, the first one of that turn. Uh, Super good protection. <laughs> That's like, awesome. Amazing. It makes your guys really hard to deal with. Yeah. Uh, and she gets it too. So it's it's all creatures, not all other creatures. Which is just nice. Yeah. Uh, That's super good. Yeah, she's a lot of value at a 2 2 flyer. <laughs> um, and yeah, miss, oh, of course, Master of Waves. A workhorse, a stud. Oh, yeah. Master of Waves is great. Oh, yeah. Especially in mono blue. So Master <laughs> of Waves, when he comes in, you create these one zero tokens, these elemental tokens for your devotion to blue. Zero one, right? Mm -mm. It's, it's one zero? One zero. Because oh. he gives plus one plus oh, you're one right. to elements. Oh, you My bad. Elementals. You were correct. So they come in basically as two ones. But essentially, it's kind of not as broken because if you kill him, you know, yeah, they all yeah, go they away as well. Um, but no, that's great. In mono blue, uh, most of a lot of these creatures have two blue mm -hmm. in their CMC. So you're gonna get a lot of devotion. Yeah, 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 pretty easily. Um, yeah. I love Master of uh, Master of Waves. Yeah, he's awesome. Same. Oh, he's also got pro red. Let me say. I think that's so, uh, really cool. Yeah, doesn't yeah, that yeah. a bolt? Well, exactly, and that's really important. Like like you mentioned, if you do get rid of the Master of Waves, you basically mm -hmm. are gonna be losing all those tokens. Yeah. But the pro red sort of makes that a little bit more difficult. Um, oh, sure. Just because, I mean, they can't bolt him, right? Like, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, and he does get a buff, correct, because he is a merfolk. So from the lords, he yes. he himself gets a buff. True. So burn in general is less mm -hmm. effective against him, which I think is true. Cool. Yeah, is, so is good. With the lords, they don't get their own buffs. Right. But if you've got the Lord of Atlantis and the Master of the Pearl Trident now, they buff each other. Right. Which is nice. And that works for... And then stack and on everything really. else, mm -hmm. which is so good. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, so the last... The kitties are playing their food. Uh, <laughs> the, the last uh, fish we'll talk about. All right. We're going to call them fish forever. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Silver Gill Adept. It's pretty simple. Um, it's kind of fixed, I guess, in a way, because as an additional cost, you either have to reveal a Merfolk card or mm -hmm. pay three more mana for a 2-1 that draws you a card. Uh, eh. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it replaces itself. Yeah, cool. and it it's really tough with yeah. the lords. I yeah, mean, exactly. Murpho gets uh, beady really fast. Mm -hmm. Their board just kind of swells <laughs> like a rising tide, um, and you can control a bunch <laughs> of stuff just to get there. Uh, so other other spells doesn't run many more. Uh, two dismember four aether vial, and then of course you can't have Murpho tribal really no, without yeah. spreading seas. Spreading Seas uh, makes this deck run. Really, it's not ever as good until you resolve Spreading Seas. Yeah, I would uh, agree. Spreading Seas turns a land into an island. You draw a card to replace it. That's it. Um, but what that turns on is the island walk. Boom. Which, yes. which makes I guess everything unblockable. You could say you need Master of the Pearl Trident and sure, Spreading Seas. But, but you usually can control the board until you get to those, which is yes, so nice. Yes, usually with, your, uh, with the Cursed Catchers. Sacky like Fish. That. Saki fish. Yeah, I'm gonna call them. That's fine. Um, and your uh, Kira's. Yeah, they're sweet. I've never seen Kira in, a, in one of these lists before. I don't know that I ever have either. I really I'm like impressed. the addition though. I, I think do it's too. a great addition. Uh, um, it, I mean, it serves well to the tempo game. It slows them down yeah, a absolutely. lot. Um, and then the Aether Vials. Obviously, you want to play in creature decks. It makes creatures uncounterable. Yeah. Which yes, Cavern of Souls does, but you also get to cheat out something. You right. You don't have to hard cast it. Which which means you can yeah. play more than one thing per turn uh, in the early turns, hopefully, and stuff like that. It also does give you an out if they have things like Ghost Quarter sure. for your lands, but yeah. they don't main board like artifact hate of any kind or something like that. You're able to oh. to play to both strengths. You know what I mean? And, and get those. So yeah, I Aether, really like that. Aether Vial is just a a really solid card in any creature deck yeah most of the time you're gonna run aether Bob, definitely so definitely nice yeah i like it it's a really 
good list. Yeah. I was impressed. Um, what turn would you say that's trying to win on? Like if just roundabout, not hmm. specific necessarily, but probably four. Okay. Because you need you need at least Pearl Trident out there. Yeah. And spreading seas. Okay. You could, I guess, cast them both in the same turn with Aether Vial to spreading seas. Mm-hmm. But I don't think that's enough threat on board to win before turn four, usually. Yeah. I'll say. So it's more like a mid range ish kind of deck. You sort would of. Say. Sort of. Like you're winning with aggro creatures, obviously, yeah. but you're, because it's a merfolk deck, you're sort of able to control the state yeah. of the board for and the you most kinda, part. You kind of need to. Yeah. Um, even though these guys can get big, yeah. they don't get so big so fast that they're you win through damage on yeah. board. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Merfolk always comes down to uh, inevitable lethal damage, and they just mm-hmm. give up, right? I mean, yeah. you hardly ever beat through. Uh, because you don't get combat tricks, you don't yeah, get yeah. Uh, double strike, just mm-hmm. junk like that. Cool. Um, but yeah, probably turn four or five, Okay, I'd say. Okay, Maybe. fair enough. I, I don't know much about Merfolk. I really like the deck, okay. uh, but I've never built it. I have very little of the cards to actually build it. I do have spreading sure. seeds, but I don't have any of the lords or anything. Gotcha. Um, so I'd actually like to build the deck. It's I think for modern, actually, it's a relatively cheap deck too. Um, it's in comparison to things like Death Shadow or yeah. Or I didn't check like the that. price only That's because fine. I don't yeah, yeah. like getting depressed. Well, yeah, um, modern is. I mean, you think of average price for a modern deck is probably like eight or nine hundred ish. Yeah, I would say. you could probably say that. Um, you get some that are above the 1,000 mark and then a few that are below, like Burn and stuff. Hint, hint. Wink, wink. Um, <laughs> hmm. Which has already been spoiled because it's in the title. But <laughs> it's in the title. Um, you know, it, it is kind of a relatively cheaper deck. It's still expensive, obviously. It's probably up there at 7 or so. This one is, yeah, it's uh, $630. Oh, that's pretty good actually for modern deck. Yeah, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. Um it goes from six hundred thirty to eight eighty. Yeah. So in that realm. Cool. Um yeah, oh, it's nice. Uh I like this list a lot. Yeah. Very nice. Thanks, Thank buddy. you for that. Um, I had fish for lunch, actually. Was it good? I had cod chowder, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Sounds good. I don't really like fish to be honest. Well, I love I like fish. Mahi Mahi. The dolphin fish. My girlfriend makes extraordinary Mahi Mahi. Really like it. Nice. Anyway, so you're just making me hungry. Get yeah, on no, your right. list, dude. All right. I'm gonna so um, get up for a snack. Where and this your episode. deck is uh, around the six to eight hundred dollar range. Mm. Usually, this is the deck that I'm talking about is between the five to six hundred dollar range. So Ooh, it's even super cheaper. Cheap. Okay. Um, and it was recommended on Instagram first by Mox Opal seven four six, who uh, stated that they're sort of tinkering around with a deck. Okay. Um, and would like to just know our thoughts on it and things like that. We also had a few other people, Hedron Crab and Jace, the architect of thought, uh, who wanted to, Man, to hear about it. Celebrity shout out. Yeah, right? Um, nice. No, but we do appreciate all the suggestions. We got some some good ones. Uh, we just happened to go with this one, which is yep. Naya Burn. Um, not to be confused with Naya Zoo, yeah, which is very Wild different. Nicottle, things very like different. that. This is not the Zoo deck. No. This is the Burn focus No Kurt deck. Apes here, buddy. No. So just keep that in mind. Oh, no. Um, that being said, we'll go into creatures first. Okay. I'm using a base list, and then I also have some recommendations for cards you could consider. Uh, probably some of them I would definitely switch out, but that's just me. Okay. Um, creatures, you're looking at 12 to 15, 15 being on the high end. Again, this yeah. is a burn deck, so you're not looking to just win with creature damage. Ideally, you're burning them out. Um, yeah. So 12 to 15, the majority of them run around 12. Um, the list I'm looking at actually does have 15 with four Eidolons, four Goblin Guides, four Monastery Swiss Spears, which are sort of the normal 12. Yeah. Uh, this one also has a very new include with Hazaret, uh, which I think is cool because it is All sort right. of relative permanent burn, right? Like you're yeah. ideally able to burn them for two almost every turn. Definitely. I love <laughs> that include. I think it's cool. Because basically it turns lands late game and mm-hmm. dead cards in your hand into shocks yeah which is you know uh, it gives awesome. you a little bit of the longevity that yeah. you know you don't always get with the burn deck so yeah i, I really like that i think it's sweet and for three right it's three or four you get uh, a five, it's four? four for a five four yeah that's... with haste indestructible and technically it's not a creature and you know stipulations on sure. that but you kind of don't care <laughs> <laughs> um if it is a creature that's great but like other than that it doesn't matter 
Yeah. So, um, I, yeah Hazarite's I a cool one. include. Again, that being sort of a newer list, a lot of the older lists stuck with the 12, uh, with the Eidolons, Goblin Guides, and Swift Spears. Sure. Along with a few others, which I'll mention in a minute. Um, spells, you're looking at about 25, uh, which leaves you with about 20 lands, your various assortment of shock lands, fetch lands, and then just basics. Um, yeah. The list I'm actually looking at on lands only runs two basics, two mountains. Uh, it does not run any uh, plains or forests, which I think is mm. interesting because that sort of hedges you against Blood Moon. Um, however, your deck is mostly red. Like, there's a few yeah. main board white spells and some sideboarded green spells. And so it's not as big of a deal, honestly. Um, it, yeah. It still could come up, though. So I might, I might main board probably a plains before I main board a forest, uh, only because your main board has so much white. Sure. In it. Um, I think I'm probably in agreement there. Yeah, I just I think that's important. You have but. to sort of expect a blood moon in a big event. Yeah, of um, course, they're it's floating everywhere. Around somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and it <laughs> it is nice that you're mostly red. You're right. So. Yeah. Um. So as far as spells go, uh, the ones that do include white, we have a playset of Boros Charm and Lightning Helix. They're just great spells, lucrative spells, Heck and yeah. they they deal Heck damage yeah. and gain some life, which is good. Um, what, you, what you want in Iburn. Exactly. Uh, for Bolt, obviously. For Searing Blaze, obviously. For Lightning Spike. And for Rift Bolt, obviously on all of those. Um, you also, in this list, have a Searing Blood as a one of, uh, which uh, I think is kind of interesting. Yeah. Uh, I saw this running around in a few deck lists. One, this is the only one main boarded. I, do, I saw a few on the sideboard also. Okay. Um, never as a four of, just as like a one of. I, it's fine. I, I don't feel very strongly about it, but I know some mm -hmm. people do. Um, sideboard. Uh, this sideboard is a bit specific. It's got one chain to rocks, uh, which I think is a good removal spell in this, but I did not see it in any other list. And that makes me think it's a little... It's uh, speculative for yeah, me. Yeah, I don't love it. I mean, I think you can do way better with path or swords i think so too path, they'd have to path. i think so too like because um, chain you have to have a land that counts as a mountain out right which you will i mean the yeah, majority of the but, time you're gonna have a mountain out but and then for still, those like one in ten times you don't yeah it's, it just feels good. a little weird to yeah me. i don't know why you do, and it's not an instant it's a it's an enchantment, enchantment. why would yeah. you not put path uh well this does run for path uh, as sideboard cards as well. I just don't feel in a burnt deck. You need more removal. I don't. Yeah, know. I'm gonna disagree with Chain Rock. That's fine. Um, it's fine. This also runs, like I said, four path, three relic, graveyard hate, yeah. um, four destructive revelry for enchantments or artifacts. It also deals two to the face uh, for one red and one green. Oh, was this sideboard now? This is sideboard. I correct. missed that. I'm sorry. No, I no, think you can fine. put it in sideboard. Okay. Yeah. I'll I'll throw that. Back. Um. Destructive Revelry, interestingly enough, is the only card that has green in its casting cost for this. Uh, at least okay. this list. Other lists run things like Ancient Grudge and stuff like that, so there's different yeah. ways to do it. Uh, but that I found that a little interesting. I do yeah. like the Destructive Revelry call uh, solely because it advances your plan of dealing damage. Yeah. Uh, so there's other options, again, which we'll talk about. Um, another Hazorat as a the last you know, place that number of that. Okay. And then two ensnaring bridge for other creature matchups. Huh, okay. um, I really like ensnaring bridge in this. I know that's been running around in a lot of like creature based sideboards and yeah. aggro sideboards because you're going to be running out of cards in hand. Um, and great. I really like that. It also decks like this sort of get around ensnaring bridge because they can just burn to the face, which yeah. I like too. Uh, so that's neat. Very cool. And smart. Um, overall, this base deck list, I like the majority of it. Uh, the Hazaret, I think, is a really cool yeah, include. Yeah, that's um, sweet. And then again, the Destructive Revelry, I think, is a good sideboard call. Um, I do like the option of running Shattering Spree instead of the Destructive Revelry, solely because you can replicate it, uh, which okay. means you hit more artifacts. So I might run sort of 2-2 two and two or 3-1, and one, something like okay. that, just to give a little bit more longevity if you've got the mana and you can hit more uh, with, with the Shattering Spree. I yeah, like that, I like that. option. I like um, that too. Skullcrack is another option. <laughs> yes, yeah, which I think I would run awesome. over Searing Blood, personally. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, it deals some damage and then they can't gain life that turn. Sure. Uh, nobody can, which I think is really important. Uh, in things like Soul Sisters, you can get a timely thing in, or you know, just any deck really mm -hmm. that's gaining life. Um, yeah. Against a match, uh, a mirror match, you play it. 
in response to like a lightning helix or something and then they don't gain the three off of it okay that's what i was gonna say <laughs> yeah 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 i think that's important Definitely. um a card that i like more than relic in this deck is rest in peace really um yes and i did see this in place of relic in a lot of decks i like it because one it's like it just continuously removes the grave like you don't have to do anything it's just a thing that gets rid of graveyards whereas relic it's like here let me tap it remove a card instead of removing all of them and you can no relic you can do the relic as you pay one draw a card and then exile a graveyard that that works but it's not an ongoing effect. Like you have to have a follow up to keep doing no. that. Okay. Yeah, um, I and I think in the matchups right now, where Death Shadow is very prevalent and Delve is everywhere, uh, I think yeah. Rest in Peace is a little more important. But that's just metagame stuff. Um, rest in Peace is slower though. How much is it? Two. Well, it's not slower at all. It's then. not Never that mind because you have to um, add stuff to make. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. So I like Rest in Peace. Mm-hmm. Uh, Core Firewalker is good against the Mirror yeah uh, protection from red for two white it's just a solid creature it means yeah. you're basically going to be able to get through for damage mm-hmm. every turn which is important um shattering spree already mentioned uh grim lava mancer i also like as a creature option Ooh, yeah this was running around some of the main boards and also some of the sideboards excuse me um you've got so many burn spells and you might as well burn them from your graveyard why not so uh, yeah yeah it kind of seems seems nice. pretty good <laughs> um and then Deflecting Palm was actually running around. Deflecting Palm. Which yeah. I actually kind of like because, again, against a deck where they're swinging in at you, if you've burned them down to a certain number, yeah. you just sort of you win. Get to, you get to turn like, their <laughs> damage into your burn. Which... Well, exactly. And I think that's kind of good. Yeah, I, um, I like that a lot. I think that's cool. I actually did see that as like a two of in a main board somewhere, uh, which I think was interesting. I would probably I would sideboard. Yeah, I think personally. I probably would too because against ensnaring bridge it's not yeah i mean although you probably just win against ensnaring bridge most of the time um right yeah yes and no so it depends like if you've got a creature heavy hand you're in a bad place yeah. against ensnaring bridge if you're just not drawing the burn um if you are drawing the burn hopefully you're in a good place yeah <clears throat> but again you have to have a lot of burn to get them down so much life so true true just because ensnaring bridge is a three cost artifact so you can get it out pretty quick um yeah but i like i like the palm probably so, inside board against yeah again creature inside board for sure but i like this deck um it's i mean it's just burn right like you just burn the face uh yeah put all the best good stuff in there and you're good to go <laughs> there's very few <laughs> complex choices and that's that's not gonna sound right um there's less <laughs> complex choices in burn yeah compared to other decks <laughs> um that being said piloting a burn deck can get tricky yeah um i agree yeah I always um, like, uh, um, like kind of Jund burns and um, Boros simple burn, yeah, stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. Um, Jund this... for your uh, hand destruction and uh, mm-hmm. what's the word? Blightning. I like blightning. You love blightning. I love blightning. I mean, this honestly, the deck list that I, the multitude of deck lists that I was looking at, they're mostly Boros burn, um, and the only reason they run green is for artifact hate. Um, sure destructive revelry i get that. grudge things like that i get that um which it needs to be there and i like that it's there uh generally though i you're you, gonna stick with gives with you option red, for uh, a tarkus command it does um thank you huh? i'm glad you brought that up i kind of forgot about that um so yeah. we actually before this started talking against skull crack versus a tarkus command mm-hmm. um because they kind of do the same thing mm-hmm. um and that very you can often choose... i think in this deck they would yeah i think they would uh, a target's command being a little bit harder to cast just with the green but it also gives you other options um right. one of which i don't think you'd really ever use which is to play a land um uh, yeah i think like <clears throat> if the there are very specific circumstances mm-hmm. but no i think like Generally, it's going to be doing the same thing. Yeah, because the target's um, command says it deals three damage to a creature or player. Yeah. Uh, target player can't gain life this turn. Yeah. Uh, you can put a land card from your hand into the field. And one other one. I don't remember what it is. What was, what'd you say? So land on the field. Land damage can't gain life. Oh, and you can give all your creatures plus one, plus one. That's it. And um, reach. And reach. And, reach. and I because this isn't a creature heavy <sighs> deck, it doesn't come up as often. No. Um, in Naya Zoo, you absolutely run. Uh, 
a Tarkus command. Definitely. But in this deck, I, I sort of understand it. I think they're a little bit interchangeable, um, and I like the the different modes to a Tarkus command, but I don't know that it's worth it in this yeah, deck. Well, I also, think that's... You definitely have to have the mana base to support it, and you if do. you're you're basically splashing for green at that point. Yeah. And you get plenty of opportunity to do that. In that oh, game. yeah, yeah. But... I mean that is that's a consideration. Splashing sure. for one card in a burn deck. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't feel that great to me, but yeah. it's whatever. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so thank you all for the suggestions. Uh, we have a lot more on there, yeah. um, and it's we really do cool. post these every week. Uh, usually on Tuesdays, we'll post the deck, uh, the mm -hmm. call out to say, "Hey, what deck do you guys want to see for this format?" So be looking uh, tomorrow for, I believe it's vintage. Yes next week vintage and legacy vintage and then legacy so we'll do vintage on tuesday so be ready to uh to post your responses and we'll we'll do what we can about mm. it so um that being said uh we do want to mention very quickly our giveaway on instagram yes. uh we've already sort of touched on it three days left uh make sure Come you down. enter all you have to do is repost uh the original post that we did be following us and tag us in that post yeah um Simple and you're in to win we've already got over 80 entries so we've got a lot um, and thanks to all of you guys, we've hit over 700 followers. Yeah, big uh, thank you uh, for participating, <clears throat> sharing, tagging, all of the things. It's awesome. You yeah. guys have been incredible. Um, I'm, I'm impressed, surprised, yes. and grateful. Yeah. So that's really cool. All of the above. Yeah. Yeah. It, Good it's adjectives. really been fun. Um, yeah. Again, we jumped like 150 subs or followers in mm -hmm. like the first day. Um, so you guys really came through. This will absolutely yeah. be the first, well, the second of many uh, giveaways that we do. Um, so be on the lookout yeah. for those. Thank you, thank you for your participation. Yes, as always. Um, here's the deal, guys. We have a sponsor, obviously, Grand oh, Slam, yeah, we do. Uh, who has provided us with a brand new Hour of Devastation booster box for us to <sighs> use as our cracker pack. Freshly minted. Yes. Um, I'm excited about this set. I know a lot of people have some negative things to say, and I understand that. Sure. Um, however, I do really like a few cards in this set. <laughs> yeah. One of them is my goal card. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try and not say this incorrectly, because I always do. Let the people know what it is, and please, God, say it wrong. <laughs> Ramunap Excavator. Ah, dang it. Yes. You okay. said something hilarious first. I do. Um, I, it's a 2-3 uh, for 2 and a green, I believe, and it just says you can play uh, lands from yep. your graveyard. It's Crucible mm -hmm. of Worlds on a stick. On and a so that's snake. my gold card. Um, yeah, it's I'm sweet. really excited about that card. And I am looking for yet another red creature. I promise red's not my favorite. I just really like this guy. <laughs> uh, Wildfire Eternal. Oh, nice. Oh, it's so cool. Uh, Parks <laughs> is giving me a hard time. Uh, he doesn't think it's that good. Um, and... Uh, Granted, it's not like standout exceptional. The art on it is really oh, good. Oh, it's beautiful. I love the Hopefully art. I, I want it in it. foil. Um, nope. Yeah, I didn't get mine. I did get one of the hour cards, Hour of Glory. Okay. Uh, which, for three and a black, it's an instant exile target creature. If that creature was a god, its controller reveals his or her hand and exiles all cards from it with the same name as that creature. I would 100% first pick this uh, mm -hmm. solely because it absolutely gets rid of anything. Um, yes, and nice. then for gods, obviously, it's it's great. I also have a Torment of Venom, which I think is a followed up good removal spell. Frilled Sandwalla, which for anybody who knows mm. Basking Rootwalla, you root know how good the Rootwallas and the Sandwalla is. Uh, I also have River Hoopo. Hoop, Hoop, Hoop? Hoopo, I think. Hoopo. That's what I've been saying. Uh, I hope that's right. Which is interesting. I like it. And Obelisk Spider, which I've fallen in love with due to our games. Yes. Uh, which we'll talk about on yeah. probably next week's episode. So, okay. Hour of Glory is definitely my pick. Yeah, I would agree with you there. Um, so my rare, <laughs> Abandoned Sarcophagus. Uh, three artifact. You can cast non land cards with cycling from your graveyard. So get to cycle and then cast a thing. Mm -hmm. um, if a card with cycling would be put into your graveyard from anywhere and it wasn't, exile it instead. And it wasn't cycled, excuse me. Exile it instead. Um, I don't first pick this at all in Limited. It's so. a huge build around. Yeah. Um, I think it's possible, but yeah. I, I don't think you first pick it. Um, although, if the pack is kind of weak, which mine isn't super good. You'd consider it. Yeah. Um, although, I think you've I got better might. picks. Yeah, I think I do too. Uh, I have one card recycling also, so. Yeah. No. Um, 
You also do get Namon Ket pack when you draft. Is that correct? I'm actually not sure. I think it's two hour and then one Amon Ket. If I'm that not mistaken, sense. I might be wrong about that. So you will get more cycling usually. Yeah, that um, makes sense. But yeah. So my other picks, Sun Scourge Champion. Uh, so when it enters, card. you gain life. It's all right. You gain life equal to its power, which, I mean, life gain's good. It's a 2-3 three for 3, which is just solid stats, but it's also got Eternalize for 4. Exactly. Comes in as a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah. Uh, very cool. It's going to be doing some fighting, trading early, yeah. and then coming back and gaining 4 life. So, I like that a lot. Mm -hmm. um, Eternal of Harsh Truths, as a flick 2, whenever it is it attacks and isn't blocked, you can draw a card. Uh, it is a 1-3 three for 3. So, mm -hmm. card advantage and maybe 2 damage. Um, I don't, it's I don't know. It's a versatile card. It's I decent. like it. It doesn't. I don't know that it's first pick. I don't either. It doesn't leave your opponents with many good choices. Sure, um, sure. Some other ones: Ambuscade and Thorned Moloch are my picks. Ambuscade's good removal. Mm -hmm. uh, pumps a guy and then deals damage. Uh, his power. Sort of them. the classic green removal. Yeah, and I like it a lot, especially at instant speed. You uh, also have an open fire, which I like. I Maybe do not too. first pick. I don't but I do no, like not it. not first pick, but open fire is great. It's fixed bolt, three damage yeah, for three. Yeah. Um without weakness also can sneak up on people. Mm -hmm. So cycling two, target creature you control gains indestructible until end of turn. That's great. Yeah, it's fan. It's Good a combat trick. Oh, so, I love indestructible combat tricks. Yeah, yeah. They're so they can really so nasty. get out of hand very quickly, I would say. <laughs> um so my first pick though is probably Sunscourge Champion. I agree. Um or Thorn Moloch. It's got prowess and first strike if it's attacking. First strike and limited is really solid. It is very good. Um, yeah. It's just it's a really really good creature mm -hmm. um, that you want to attack with more often than not. Um, yeah. But I think Sun Scourge gets you more for three um, in yeah. terms of a limited environment. I like Sun Scourge Champion yeah. as well. Uh, it gives you an early game play that mm -hmm. is also good late game. Yeah. Um, a four four for four that gains you four life is pretty good yeah um and you're right life gain isn't something you should necessarily focus on but it is a very good bonus especially yeah. in limited definitely um, i would say yeah so i agree with you on that one cool for sure nice well thank you again to grand slam for sponsoring and providing these packs for us we've got a lot more coming with grand slam in the future so be yes. on the lookout yes um Oh, anything uh, else you want to say? Yeah, quick hedging. We don't own the minions. We don't own oh, anything yeah. about the minions, by the minions, for the Not minions. Not a sponsor. <laughs> Not a sponsor. Um, it's just a cup that holds liquid. And paint. And paint. There's Funnily paint. enough. There's a little paint on the side. Um, they washed it, they promised. <laughs> um i don't know if and that's the last we saw of Will. Yeah, and then the episodes ended. Will didn't make it. It was rough. Mate, you'll have to do my I, my so my birthday falls on a Wednesday this year. Okay. So you've got to find a replacement, and then that day. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Say I die. I'll make that happen. I don't know why, but not the rest of it. Yeah. Just the you dying part. Um. All right, guys. Thank you so much for Get watching. Help. Send help. <laughs> Thank you guys uh, yes. for hanging out with us, watching today's episode, mm -hmm. listening to today's episode, whatever you're doing. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Um, I think we're going to get out of here. We are. We are indeed. My name is Kevin. My name is Will. And this has been It Re